Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dan and today we're going to be doing the no counter movement jump. So there's two different types of counter movement jumps. There's obviously the one where we're using that counter movement to help us get more height. And so we're using a bit of a stretch reflex we call, but then there's also what we called a no counter movement jump. So for this exercise, all we need you to do is again, probably want to wear shoes for this one because we're trying to jump as high as we can, but I'm not going to do that just in case I hit this light. So you're going to have your feet underneath your hips, maybe slightly wider if you need to hands are on your hips like so. And we're just going to basically squat down to a relatively kind of comfortable jumping position. So wherever you feel comfortable doing so, most people is probably going to be just above that nine degree angle at the knee. And we're going to hold this for a few seconds before we then jump as high as we can. So with the no counter movement jump, we aren't just kind of going in and out of the movement. Again, like I said, using that stretch shortening or a kind of stretch reflex uh, ability of our muscles, our tendons and our tissues. So for here, remember hands on your hips. We're trying not to use our hands whatsoever here. And we're just gonna bend forward as if we're going to jump and we're going to jump as high as we can after holding it for about two to three seconds at the bottom. So like I said, this stops the momentum that we would generate from just being able to bounce in and out of that counter movement jump. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, let us know. But for this exercise, I probably recommend practicing it maybe three, four, five times, doing a few sets of it. And then when you feel good to go, getting into your position, hands on hips, coming down, holding for a few seconds, and then jumping as high as you can. All right, always make sure ideally you can get this on video because we can actually calculate your vertical with our apps that we use. Thanks.